want to do a little tutorial on how to read your graph. This particular graph is an LX6, but it pretty much relays to um, just about any uh, graph. So what you see here, I'll turn my sensitivity up, so there we go. What you see here, and I just cranked the sensitivity so that you could uh, you could see what was going on better on the camera. This side over here would be your regular um, flasher readout in the round. Um, you know, if you have like an LX5 or a Vexlar or whatever, this is your classic flasher readout. And you can see we're in about seven and a half feet of water or so, 7.4. And that's uh, that little blue line, blue and green line down there flickering. That's my, my jig. So you can tell where your jig is at. When you're adjusting your graph, you kind of want your jig. You want to be able to see it at all times, but you want it to be a thin line. The reason for that is so you can figure out your target separation when a fish comes in. Um, so I think, you know, like most Markums are down to a half an inch for target separation. Now, when there's a fish on the screen, which would be nice if there would be one that came in right now, it lets you tell the mood of the fish. You know, when you're jigging it, if it come, if they come, if they come in when you're jigging it, then you're, uh, better off to keep jigging it in my opinion um, if they come in when it's sitting still just let it sit still you know if you have a group of fish come in then uh, what you want to do is take your kind of try and raise one up out of the group now everybody says you know just because they come in on like this part of the screen below your jig that does not mean they're coming in from below. You're, the way the, the cone angle works, anything on the outside of the cone angle is gonna appear uh, deeper than what it is. So like you can see my jig's right at six feet right now. A lot of times you'll see fish come in and they'll look like they're right on the bottom. And then they'll slowly come in and it looks like they're rising up. But more than likely what they're, what's happening they might be slightly lower, slightly higher than your jig. But when they're coming in, they're just coming into your jig and they're getting into, into that cone angle. So if you uh, if you have a group of fish and it's showing them down at like seven, you know, like say right now, if I was, you know, dropping my jig down and there is a group of fish down around, you know, seven feet. I wouldn't drop my jig all the way down to seven feet, especially if as you're dropping down you see one start coming in towards it just stop your jig right there because that's more than likely the level that they're at um, everybody i always see people always drop it right down to the fish and that generally doesn't work because you're dropping it below them you can see something right now just flirting around and it looks like it's on the bottom more than likely isn't on the bottom. Now when I've had fish coming in today, they've been about six and a half feet, so they've been about a, a foot off the bottom. So that's kind of my my target range to keep my jig at, because that's gonna be right at their eye level. Sometimes I wanna jig above that to see if I can call them in, but very rarely, the only way I go down to the bottom is if I drop it all the way down, it keeps getting hung up on the ice. If I drop it all the way down like that, and I want to pound the bottom with it. And what I'm doing there is kicking up a little silt cloud from my jig. And then I'm going to come back above it and just.
this jig and it just creates a little bit of a disturbance in the water and lets your lets the fish see it from a distance. Oh, see there comes one right up to it. Right on it right now. You can see the mood of the fish. Right there, he just kind of turned and looked at it. Oh, he didn't like what he saw. That's generally not what they've been doing all day. So, that fish, although it appeared on the graph that it came down from the bottom, more than likely did not come from the bottom. It came from off the side, you know. So that fish was over here off to my left or right in front of me, behind me, wherever. But it was on the outside of my cone angle. And then when it came in, it appears that it's on the bottom. And as it comes up, it's just rising up to you. But there's, let's see if we can pound bottom again. Get another, oh, I got a sheet of ice on my hole. Keeps getting caught in. Now we'll raise above that and see if we can get another one to come in. But your flasher is just not for checking depth. It'll tell you the mood of the fish. And right now it's telling me that they're very negative. But it also, you know, like I'll, I'll try different plastics now and see if I can get them to come in and commit to a different plastic. If I had live bait, I'd probably switch to live bait at this point, but I don't have live bait. So, but that's how to read a flasher. I hope you learned something from this. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. And go ahead and subscribe for more ice fishing videos. Thanks for watching.